Good afternoon. The first item of business this afternoon is time for reflection. And our time for reflection leader today is Carol Wilde, Communication Director, Scotland, Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Presiding Officer, Members of Scottish Parliament, thank you for the opportunity to address you this afternoon. In recent months, each of us have seen many who are experiencing great challenges in life. From geopolitical challenges worldwide, to challenges here within our communities and our homes and in the lives of our neighbours and friends. The New Testament provides examples of Jesus Christ's compassion towards others as he stretched out his hand with love to heal the sick, give succour to the weary and comfort those who mourned. Taking inspiration from his example, we can stretch out our hands to those who are within our sphere of influence. We can stretch out our hands and meaningfully touch the lives of others. We can help strengthen families, support friends and neighbours in need, and develop a greater love for those we desire to serve and connect with. Feeling overwhelmed is commonplace today, perhaps as a result of the many pressures and demands on our time and our physical and mental reserves. Yet Jesus invites us to be willing to bear one another's burdens that they may be light. Helping someone with their burden requires sacrifice and a liberal dose of love unfeigned. In seeking to lift the burden of another, we offer support, understanding, practical aid, but most of all, kindness. We may, may not be able to alter the journey of another, but we can make sure that no one walks the path alone. May I share just a short verse? I met a stranger in the night whose lamp had ceased to shine. I paused and let him light his lamp from mine. A tempest sprang up later on and shook the world about. And when the wind was gone, it was my lamp that was out. But back to me the stranger came. His lamp was glowing fine. He held the precious loft, flame aloft and lighted mine. We ought not to underestimate the difference that we can make in the lives of others. Step forward, reach out and help. In the words of Charles Dickens, no one is useless in this world who lightens the burdens of another. So my message today is one of consideration and concern for others. May God and our humanity prevail as we walk the path of life together with kindness and understanding to succour the weak, lift up the hands which hang down and strengthen the feeble knee. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Thank you, Ms. Walker.